games, the nervousness of some of the players involved, and and that sort of thing. Uh-huh. And then a couple of games I just really can't pick that I'm going to leave an element of, of luck in this, and some of the games are going to be decided on the... The winner will be decided on the flip of a coin. Yes, I've got. I've made my picks, and you're going to flip a coin. So we'll talk about the games in order, and then we'll just see what your thoughts are. Okay. So on Thursday night, Mark Salford take on St Helens down at the AJ Bell. Salford continue to have nothing to play for, and if Saints win, they're in the semi-finals. Twenty-four points to twelve to St Helens. See, I don't think Salford necessarily have nothing to play for. This is a chance for this season that they've had to go out on a high because it's really been a positive season for them. Right. And they have always been better at home this year than away from home. I think that's been fair to say. And I also think that they'll want to leave the season with something on it. Now, if they can get that team together and get some of the off-field issues, like this Todd Carney told to go so they could save money and kind of stuff like that that you don't want coming out at this stage of the year, and maybe get a team out there and stuff, I think they're going to work for each other. And I think... Saints will be nervous. Yeah. So whilst I expect whoever wins the game to win by a couple of scores, I don't think we can completely write Salford off. Even though, if I was, if you know, if the coin was weighted, it would be weighted slightly in in St. Helens favour, right? Because they're playing better. Yes. Generally. Yeah. Than Salford are. I don't think we can write them off. So heads, Salford win by ten. Tails, St. Helens win by ten. Let's see. Tails, St. Helens win by 10. What an utterly pointless endeavour this is turning out to be. There's your coin back. Right, OK, Friday evening, Castleford take on Hull FC. Castleford seem to be, whilst they're rotating things and having some people coming in and out through injuries, able to maintain this momentum, particularly at home. And whilst Hull did get that win over Wakefield, they're far from at their best, I don't think. Um, Castleford win this, 30 points to 14 for me. Another dominant display from the best team in the league. They execute better, don't they? Um, but one team they haven't executed better against all year is Hull FC. True. So, and it's a knockout game for Hull FC, and Hull FC have been very good in knockout games yeah. uh, this year in terms of certainly winning them, and if not always um, complete performances, you know, very strong performances yeah, from a very strong yeah. forward pack. Mm-hmm. The thing is, Castleford will be able to play around that forward pack to some extent, yeah. as long as they get in that battle or get ahead of that early doors. I think it'll be a relatively close game, but I do think that in the end, someone will score a late try that'll make it a bit more comprehensive either way. So I think it'll be an eight-point margin, mm-hmm. but I just not, I'm just not sure which way that eight-point margin will go. What do you think? You, have you given your... I've gone Castleford 30 points to 14. So I think it's going to be eight-point win to heads, Castleford. Castleford, tails, it's Hull FC. Okay. Hull FC. Hull FC. There you go, tails. Not out. the result I wanted. No. Well, <laughs> that means we're going to out. <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? So the coin is not being kind to you. Okay, at the same time on Friday evening, Huddersfield take on Leeds Rhinos down at the John Smiths. Huddersfield have got nothing to play for. Leeds want to maintain some momentum going into the semis. Leeds win 28 points to 10. I've got Leeds winning 32 points to 16. I don't think that I need... Oh, no the, coin flip. I don't think I need the coin on this one. No, I suspect um, not. I, I just think that... Huddersfield are gone, Leeds are gearing up, mm. and that's that's why this will go the way it will. Okay. Yeah. okay, Saturday afternoon at 3.15, then Wakefield, Trinity, take on Wigan. Do you Tons. think I should flick the coin off the table, because this noise is probably annoying people? It's a bit it? late now, mate. Yeah, well, we've done it twice, but that's for we'll fun. just catch it in your hands. I, well, if I drop it, then everyone will know I dropped it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, just catch it in your hands. Um <laughs> Look, Wakefield take on Wigan. You're going to have to pick Wigan, aren't you, surely? I think Wigan have got enough to get over the line. Wakefield... Well, the coin well, doesn't here's matter. What I think, here's what I think is going to happen. I've been picking Wigan to win 19 points to 18 for about the last four weeks. I actually think that it'll happen this week, and here's the story of the game. Wakefield get themselves off to a 12-point start. Wigan peg them back. Wakefield go 18 points to 12 clear, and then Wigan finish it because Wakefield play within themselves. No lessons are being learned down at Bellevue at the minute, and I don't see it changing anytime soon. Your boys know that this is do or die, and they've got the muscle memory from do or die for football. Wigan win this, 19 points to 18 for me. The only thing I'd add to what you're suggesting is I think there'll be more uh, tries scored than you think. Yes. So I actually think it'll end up five tries to four one way or the other. Right. Um, I hope it's for Wigan, but to be honest, if the coin... The coin has not been kind to you, Mark. The coin has not been kind to me. So so, so in reality... 
these two sides, Wakefield have got the better set of prop forwards. Yeah. Wigan have got the better set of outside backs. Um, and halves. Backs, generally. And... Yeah, I think it's a bit of a tie with the halves. I think the kicking game, mm. the long kicking mm. game, the strategic yeah. kicking game is better from Wakefield, Wakefield huh? and they do have the spark of Jacob Miller. True. Um, but, yeah, I do think that Wigan's halves are, 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 are at an international level, mm-hmm. whereas, yeah, Liam Finn's the most capped Irish player ever, but that's the most capped Irish player ever. Yeah. Um, not regular appearances for New Zealand and England. So, yeah, so, so I'll get you that. Sean O'Loughlin should be back. Um, that'll be a good thing for Wigan. But one of the sides will win by four points. Heads it's Wakefield, tails it's Wigan. You caught it, well done. Tails. <laughs> no, you cheating, you cheating Rita. Shall I try it again? No, do what came out before you cheated and then failed to catch it. What are you doing? Tails, what was tails, Wigan? Wakefield was tails. And you add heads. Heads, it's Wigan. Heads, it's, it's, heads it's Wakefield. Heads you it's Wigan. should go with heads, which is what it came out with first no, time. No, because I dropped it and it no, fumbled around. No, you caught it. I will talk the listeners through it. You <laughs> caught it badly and you flipped it over onto your hand. You saw it was heads and you turned it out of tails because you don't want to bet against your boys. Don't bet against your boys. It's mate. Wakefield though, isn't it? I need it to be Wakefield to win the to come back and the tipping anyway. Yeah, well, there you go. That'll be a concept. And to be honest, after last week, right. I don't have much faith in there you the go. team. Where's my coin? Here's your coin. Right, OK. Um, so, Friday evening in the qualifiers, then London take on Lee Centurions. Mark, I think London are going to win this. I think they're going to go out with a point to prove. In the last home game of the season, Hendo's going to get them fired up. And it's going to be a high-scoring ding-dong affair that they come out on top of 30 points to 30, sorry, 36 points to 30. I wouldn't be entirely shocked, and to be honest... Um, the coin might agree with you. <laughs> well, there's a 50% chance that the coin will agree with you. Um, what I would say is I, I want London to win this game. Yeah, I do. Uh, Lee need to win it to secure a home million pound game, and a home million pound game might be the difference. I do feel like they've generally been better at home yeah. over the last two years. Mm. Uh, maybe three years really yeah. all told in these games against you know Super League opposition mm-hmm. so maybe yeah that's what we'll see but I'm not I don't, I'm not confident in Lee no. I haven't been all this I haven't been all the all of the qualifiers to no. be completely honest but heads it's London by 14 tails it's Lee by 14 another strong catch tails tails it's Lee Lee by 14 there you go that could be a point back for you. Okay, Saturday afternoon then. Three o'clock down at the HJ. Top side Warrington play second side Hull KR in a game of who really cares for both of those two teams. Um, I'm going to go with home team advantage. 36 points to 18. I think Warrington are definitely stronger than Hull KR. Warrington, had they got their act together, would not have been in this position this season. They are definitely greater than some of their parts have been so far this year. And I think they will go all the way through the qualifiers without losing. Yeah, Warrington are definitely the better side. Mm-hmm. Uh, they both sides can go out there and enjoy themselves. Though I've got Warrington winning by ten points, thirty points to twenty. The, the coin wasn't re- required. Here. No need for the coin. No. Okay, uh, Callum Dragons take on Witness down in the south of France. Very important game for both sides. The loser will play in the million pound game. I think Catalan Dragons are going to win this. I think it's going to be twenty-two, twenty. Pretty turgid stuff from both sides. I think being at home and having the roar of the crowd behind, I might just get Catalan home in this one. For all the coin flip chat, mm-hmm. genuinely this one in my head this is, is, a coin flip, is like that. I think it's going to be a two-point margin either way. Yeah. Um, if Witness had Hanbury and White playing, yeah. then Witness would win this game, I would feel, and probably by more than two points. If Catalan Dragons had... Um, Jody Broughton and Greg Bird and Tony Gigo playing. I would say they'd probably win this game by more than a couple of points. Um, but those things aren't going to come to pass. No. And it makes it really hard to pick. What I would say is Catalan showed a little bit of grit. Yeah. What I would say is Widner showed a little bit of ex- attack and execution. Two things that both those teams, I felt, were lacking over the qualifiers so far. So it really does depend on... Two point win for Catalan if it's heads, two point win for Witness if it's tails. 
Win Tails, this. witness win. Mm. There you go, the coin is giving you a chance, Mark. I don't, all these outcomes that I don't want to root for, is what the, the coin has literally given me every single outcome I don't <laughs> want to root for. <laughs> because you're trusting the coin okay final game of the weekend then sees Halifax take on Featherstone the winners will finish in 7th the losers will finish in 8th I'm going fact by a point I think it'll be close it'll be feisty both teams will have something to prove in this one um, either that or both teams will want to get off on holiday and just forget about the season now uh, 21 points to 20 in favour of Halifax one see I, I don't know which way it's going to go no, I don't I just don't um, know so what I'm going with is the coin, okay. but I do think that the final scoreline will have a, a bit of a margin. I actually feel like the winning margin will be around 20 points, because what I think will happen is a tight, touchy great game mm. will have a breakout moment where someone will get to an eight-point lead, yeah. and that eight-point lead will lead to the other team either falling on the swords a little bit and kind of giving up, yeah. or... Um, throwing it around and making a few mistakes and leaving cracks and opportunities. So I think that's why it'll pad out to a bigger win either way, even though it'll be a creditable you know, effort for 50 minutes, say, from both sides. Uh, heads for Halifax, tails for Featherstone, 20 points. Heads, Halifax. Oh, uh, that one I probably would have tipped that way. So No, I wouldn't. The coin decides everything. <laughs> the coin decides everything. Uh, Very good. So there you go. All right, Championship Shield game of the week. What have you got for us? Well, it's both the semi-finals: Toulouse versus Dewsbury and Batley versus Sheffield. Um, not not formal, not formally tipping these, but yeah, Toulouse and Batley, the home sides, are, are huge favourites. I think in these, have shown much better form, both in recent weeks and over the rest of the season, mm-hmm. generally compared to the other two sides, haven't they? Yes, true. Okay, League One. Uh, well, in the Super 8s, it's the promotion semi-finals. Barrow hosts Newcastle and Whitehaven hosts York. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you think there can be an upset in either of these? No. I think York are running in hot. Yeah. Well, 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 I've got, I've got Newcastle York, I've, and York are running in hot. I've got York paid to win. Um, I don't think York would be an upset. I think York will win and I think Barrow will win. I would be surprised if... I think I don't think that would be a massive upset. It would be more of an upset if Barrow got beaten by Newcastle. I don't think they will, though. I, I think you'll get Barrow and York winning. I I think Whitehaven are the most likely to prevail. I think right. I think no one's really talked about them much this season, but yeah. they've they've not let themselves down. Um, they've played some you know close efforts against Toronto early in the season as well, and as well as putting big scores up in, in other games. I think it's going to be Whitehaven going up. So I think I, I don't I think it's going to be I think it's going to be Newcastle versus Whitehaven though. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. Barrow might crumble. And in the Shield? Well, it's the Shield final, isn't it? it we is. know it's Hunslet versus the Scholars. Uh, you would suspect home advantage might have a big impact here. I, mm. would have been a, I would have thought the Scholars had a chance if they were down. Um, is it the, the New River or something they play at? New River Sports? Like like. yeah. but, um, but, but it's not to be. Uh, and so I think Hunslet will probably win this one. Mm-hmm. Okay, there you go. Right, well... That is the world of Rugby League well and truly covered for another week then. You think I can read from that distance upside down? No, I haven't been cheating. Um, That is the world of Rugby League well and truly covered. We're about to discover how little I've been cheating now as we wrap up the show and bring you the quiz. Okay, we're coming to the end of episode 160 of the Super League pod. The quiz this week, Mark, what have you got for us? Well, um, belatedly, the Albert Goldfoot Rookie of the Year medal was awarded by League Express. Um, and this one's not awarded so much on points given, it's more a short list is drawn up and discussed by the panel of the writers there. So, um, yeah, so Liam Marshall of Wigan was given the award this season by the panel at League Express, largely thanks to his try scoring exploits that put him second on the Super League try charts this year. Mm hmm. He is the third Wigan player and the fourth winger to win the award since it was first awarded in 2008. Right. All you need to do for me, Tom, is name the nine previous winners in reverse order, starting with last year's winner. Okay. You get three points for getting the person with no clue. Right. Two points for getting it with the with a clue of the club he played for. And one point for getting it with um, the club and the position that they played in predominantly that season that they won it. Okay. Um, a maximum of 27 points can be scored, therefore, if my maths are right. Right, okay. Um, 
And hold on. Goes onto the other page. Uh, thought I missed one. And yeah.